So starting this episode review a little differently. This is where they start the episode essentially for episode 19, Jump the Shark. I'm jumping it a little bit myself by talking about this building. This is one of the most used locations in all of BC. Funny enough, Supernatural only ever used it once. And when it appeared, both my dad and I were like, we know exactly where this thing is. Funny enough, I passed it by for like 20 years of my life. And I think I've only ever ate in it three times. The owners have changed many a time over the years. You can see from the before and after, it looks a little different. It's a shade of yellow now. But this is actually the beginning of one of the more pivotal moments of the show with the introduction of their half-brother, Adam, and how that poor little guy would get screwed on later on in the show. This is actually probably one of the most important buildings that Supernatural ever shot at for me personally, so I wanted to start here. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Jump the Shark originally to me was actually going to be like a 4 out of 7 when about halfway through the episode I figured like, yeah, you know what, this is okay. It's kind of cool to see that John had an alternate life and that the brothers can see a normal life that they never got that their father sort of did and there's a little bit of jealousy in there. But then the episode starts to formulate a little bit more. Sam really embodies the willingness and the judgmental attitude of John, whereas Steen actually becomes kind of the Sam archetype in terms of episodes in the, pre in the past when Sam and Dean were kind of going about how they would carry out their father's orders. Sam always being kind of the resilient, the well, let's do something else one, whereas Dean was like right on the letter. Whereas this time they switch places. I like that aspect. Sam wants to train what he thinks is their brother to be in, to become a, uh, a hunter. He's exposed to the world now, whereas Dean wants to try and maintain his innocence because he's like, look at how shitty our life is. I don't want this for Adam. I like how the episode does formulate into that. I like how the episode follows this line and I even like the twist at the end where it turns out that Adam's actually been dead this whole time and these are ghouls and I love it. I mean, just, Dean just blows the mom's head off. But the thing that I also do like is how the episode ends. It ends on a sad note. It ends on a failure. Once again, something that the brothers would sort of steer away from, at least the story writing would in later seasons. But the fact that they failed before they even started is a cool note. But I also like how Dean says, you are exactly like dad. Every time I try to be like him, you were him. And Sam's like, well, I'll take that as a compliment. And Dean's like, take that any way you want. And I like that ambiguity to that comment because really you could take it either way. You could take it as an insult and a compliment, at least in Sam's situation. And I can't uh, go inside because it's closed, but this is table, if you can see it, is right where Dean and Sam saw, uh, sat for the episode. They even use the same chairs because this uh, place uses conventional chairs. It's kind of odd. Either way, Jump the Shark is actually a lot better than I remember it being. It has a lot more horror to it than I remember it being. I do like this little addition of an alternate life to John Winchester. A sort of also a situation of peering through the looking glass at what could have been for the brothers. And despite this being kind of another take on it, instead of it being an alternate reality, it is a literal reality for someone in their own universe. And I think that's what makes it hit a little bit more than I thought it would. But in the end, I'm going to give Jump the Shark a 6 out of 7. Like, this episode's solid. I like it. I like the twists. I like the horror. I like the conversations between Sam and Dean, Sam and fake uh, Adam. Oh, I just feel bad for this actor because <laughs> he gets screwed. He gets brought back in season five, obviously, and then he gets brought back in season 15 only to be completely fucking wasted. Otherwise though, it's a solid episode. It's really, really good, and it's really building up towards the last three episodes, which are gonna be really super fun. Either way, I asked you guys for your comments about this episode, so let's read those now. The most memorable part of Jump the Shark for me is how it explores the Winchester's family dynamic. The reveal of Adam adds some depth and intrigue to John's character, reminding both Sam and Dean, as well as the audience, that there was more to him than the man than we saw. It's also one of my favorite Dean quotes. I finally get why you and Dad butted head so much. You two are practically the same person. Person, I worship the guy, you know. Dressed like him, acted like him, listened to the same music, but you were more like him than I will ever be. And after seeing Dean try to imitate his father since season one, it was very cathartic to hear him acknowledge what a hollow impersonation it really was. Contrast that to Sam, who spent his entire life trying to be nothing like John, but ultimately being very similar. I know the family drama can get a bit stale, but when it's good, it's really fucking good. I 100% agree with you on this. I have 100% a very cathartic and eye-opening 
moment for Dean and for us watching the character. Sure, the character kind of wouldn't really grow any further past this after season five, but it was still fantastic to see that that maturity of him. I just love that there's an episode Andrew Dad wrote called, titled "Jump the Shark." There's some great irony there. Yes, it is actually. The, the, it's pretty goddamn ironic for <laughs> considering what we would go into. Jump the Shark is one of my favorite episodes of the season. It is one of the most well-written, disturbing, and intense episodes, despite being a filler. It's fascinating, in particular, to watch Sam and Dean find themselves arguing on opposite sides of the issue as to how to handle Adam. And these arguments have aged well, especially in the kitchen and in the hallway towards the end. We see how both characters have changed over the years, with Sam basically turning into John, which I think Dean's death played the most role in, even more so than Jessica's. He sees nothing but evil in the world, and Dean is there, being so wary and tired with the hunting life, being in hell and losing people, that he's desperate to keep Adam out of it. I don't think the boys would have handled things the same way if they found Adam, say, back in season one, at least not for the same reasons. The twist at the end is the most one of the most gruesome ones that the show had ever pulled off, and the shock and horror that Sam and Dean are left to have to accept is brutal. Sam actually is able to be the big brother for a change, and bonding with Adam for an episode only to find out that he's already slaughtered and he was already slaughtered and beyond saving before they even started must have only reinforced his desire to be stronger than everyone via the demon blood and fueled his vengeance and anger and all of that all of this just makes the twist in the final in the finale with Lilith's death more of a slap in the face hope you enjoyed it as i did and actually that's a good point talking about sam wanting to be able to save something that kind of that guilt that he puts on himself it was definitely huge in this episode considering that you know, he, like, they failed before they even started. And that kind of ties in a little bit more to the Demon Blood Addiction, considering that we're heading into that finale, as you said, in the next few episodes. And thank you guys for those comments. Now we've got episode 20, The Rapture. I'll be honest, I actually don't entirely remember The Rapture, The Levy Breaks, and Lucifer Rising. Obviously, I remember what happens in Lucifer Rising, and I remember how The Levy Breaks ends. I don't have a clear image of what happens in these episodes, so this is going to be fun. We're going to kind of relive the season 4 finale all over again. So make sure to give me guys' those comments about The Rapture, and I will read those off in the next episode review. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.